Okay, so let's take a look at our quiz problem here. So we're asked, uh, is the following a function? And we kind of want to explain our reasoning. So if you haven't uh, tried this problem, maybe you want to see if you can uh, try it now. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. A lot of different ways to kind of explain this. So I'll try to kind of give you a kind of quick overview of what I think the main uh, most important points are. So without giving you a whole entire lesson on functions and relations, remember our question, let's just go back to our question real quick. So is the following a function? Okay. So is the following a function? So we're talking about functions and relations. So a function is a specific type of relation and a relation in mathematics is simply a collection of XY order pairs, XY points. You can even kind of think of it on the XY axis if you just had a bunch of points plotted around and you kind of put them all in a bucket, that collection would be a relation. And a function is a particular type of um, relation. Okay, so it's a particular type of collection of points. So let's take a look at uh, one way we can look at our, um, another way we can represent our points. So we have the our order pairs, our points 1, 3, negative 2, 4, 6, 1, 9, 0. Now remember each one of these are x, y points, x, y, okay, order pairs, etc. So we can take a look at a what we call a mapping diagram where we break up the x and y points in this way. Okay, so 1, 3 is the point 1, 3, and then here we have the point negative 2, 4, six, one, nine, zero. All right, so let's kind of go up here. You can see these are the points that we're talking about. And you can see here, let me just kind of give you the answer. You probably already saw that. Yes, this in fact is a function because every X has only one Y. This defines a function. So what does this really kind of mean? Well, if you look here at our X and Y mapping diagram, this one, Okay, is only mapping or only paired up with a three. Okay, likewise, this x negative two is only paired up with a four, six is only paired up with a one, and nine is only paired up with a zero. And that's the definition of a of a function. Okay, is that each x is only mapped up with one and only one number. Okay, so let's kind of think of a an example where this would not be a function. Let's say that nine also mapped to the point uh, 15, okay? That means that 9, 15 would also have been included in your collection. So let's kind of go up here. All right, let's add this in, 9, 15. And if this was the collection of points, we can see that 9 is being paired up with 0, and 9 is also being paired up with 15. So this breaks the rule or the definition of a function. So this would not be a function, okay? But that wasn't our problem. This was our problem. Okay, so hopefully this kind of clears this up. There's a lot of different ways you can look at it, but functions and relations are extremely important. And if you're not familiar with a mapping diagram, they're really uh, useful when we're talking about functions. But anyways, if you want to take more math pop quizzes, please join me over at homeschoolmathquiz.com. Have a great day.